Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, speaking today about the apostasy in modern evangelicalism, the sad and terrible condition of modern evangelical so-called Christians. You know, when I was first saved 43 years ago, good Christians, God-loving Christians, Bible-believing Christians went to church because they were taught the Word of God. There was no psychology and cuteness and entertainment. And the lukewarm or the false Christians, they stayed away from church. That has been completely reversed. Now it is the God-loving, Jesus-loving, Bible-loving Christians who stay away from church because they're frustrated with all the worldliness. And you say, Moret, it's not worldly, really. I've seen it. I've experienced it. And I have the results of a very recent poll that proves it. Listen to this. Moderate evangelicals polled and were asked, do you think all people are born innocent, free from original sin? In other words, without a sin nature, 65% of modern evangelicals believe that all people are born innocent. 55% of modern evangelicals do not believe that the Bible is literally true. 56% of modern evangelical believes that God accepts worship from all different religions. It just doesn't matter. 43% of modern evangelicals, now get this one, 43%, almost half of modern evangelicals believe that Jesus was just a good teacher, but he's not God. Ladies and gentlemen, the modern evangelical church to a great degree has become apostate. And from this we see that all the watered-down preaching, the obsession with trying to be cool in the eyes of the world, the never saying anything that might be offensive to hell-bound sinners, which has been so prevalent among evangelicals for decades, gets worse and worse, and has now led to congregations filled with people calling themselves Christians who don't even believe the vital truths that are needed to be saved. No wonder Jesus said, no wonder Jesus said, many will say unto me on judgment day, Lord, Lord, we did this, that, and the other thing in your name, and he's going to say, I never knew you. Many, many modern evangelicals go to their grave thinking that they are saved because they went to a so-called church, and they die and they go to hell because they haven't even been taught the truth that can save their soul because you've got milk toast preachers who are afraid to offend anyone who would rather be seen as cool in the eyes of the world, funny, intellectual, anything but offensive. You can't get away from being offensive if you're going to be faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ and faithfully give out the word of God. Jesus said this, The world hates me because I declare unto them that their deeds are evil. That's not the case with modern evangelicals. They will say anything. They will do anything to avoid being offensive to lost hell-bound sinners. God wants to make you happy. God wants to make you rich. God wants to make you fulfilled. God wants to do all these things, but never mention the fact that you are a depraved sinner, unable to save yourself. Jesus is the only way to heaven. You must repent of your sin, repent of your sin, repent of your sin, and make Jesus Christ not just your Savior, but your Lord, or you will die and go to hell. Oh, no, anything but that. And that's why churches are filled with lost souls and lukewarm professing Christians And godly, Christ-loving, Bible-loving Christians have nowhere to go. I hear from them. I know. And I've seen this firsthand.
If you want to study the whole Bible with me, you can at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the entire Bible. Study the uncompromising word as I have been teaching it now for 36 years here on Scripture Verse by Verse. From Genesis through Revelation, never watering down one single verse, and I can prove it to you by you going to thebibleversebyverse.com and studying from my very first series many years ago. If you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word. That makes you a part of Scripture verse by verse right away. Also, when you take a break from studying, go to the thebibleversebyverse.com, click the front page donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Study God's Word with me. Let's not go the way of modern evangelicals. Let's stay faithful to Jesus together. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.